this morning's Health Watch, we continue our nutrition series with a look at condiment cures. The toppings you put on your burger or, or the dip you put on your chips may actually have hidden health benefits. Our Dr. Jennifer Ashton has the spicy details. You're spicy this Good morning. Good morning. Good Julie. morning. I see you brought some salsa and some ketchup, so I'm guessing there's a tomato theme. Here. Exactly. Now, before we get started on these, we really have to caution. These are just some added benefits to the condiments you might be using. They are not meant to replace medication or to cure, treat, or prevent any disease. But yeah, when you're talking... Party pooper. I'm sorry. All right. I had to get that out there. <laughs> when you're talking about red, we're looking for tomatoes here. They contain lycopene, which is an antioxidant. So that's a substance that can help prevent or slow cell death, can be helpful in preventing heart disease and some types of cancers like prostate. And again, find it in salsa, ketchup. And actually, if you look for the organic ketchup, it can have 60% more lycopene than non-organic. Oh, okay. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. I love both, so yep. I'm happy to hear this. So you're good for that one. Uh, sauerkraut. I'm not a fan. I am. So bring it on. <laughs> All right. Sour, the thinking in sauerkraut is that as the cabbage is fermented, it, it has some probiotics in it, which are helpful for digestion. Also, obviously, sauerkraut is low fat. The one caveat, it can be very, very high in salt, so you don't want to overdo it. But if you're going to reach for the hot dog, you can put some sauerkraut on there. Good to know. Yes, the sodium levels are probably... Pretty high. Yeah. Um, I love hot sauce. I am a huge fan of hot sauce. Now, when you're talking about spice, capsaicin is the ingredient in there, thought to actually promote metabolism and also retard um, oxidation and improve your uh, burn, actually, so it can suppress your appetite levels. Again, this is not a weight loss aid or end-all, be-all, but again, if you like something spicy, you can feel good knowing that it actually has some possible health benefits. Any hot sauce or just like the ones that are... You know, the Red big ones, the Cajun ones. We just got back from the Gulf. There's a lot of Cajun hot sauce, Tabasco, anything with capsaicin, red chili peppers, you're good to go. Okay, will it say it on the ingredients, capsaicin? No, but that's the ingredient that's in there. Okay. Horseradish, I see a theme, spicy. Okay, I'm another fan here. The, the ingredient in horseradish radish is called glucosinolates, and what that is thought to do is actually detoxify the liver, and certain potentially cancer-causing or carcinogenic substances in our blood can be eradicated a little more forcefully through the liver, so you, red or white horseradish is uh, beneficial. So I noticed you don't have the green horseradish wasabi. So. No, it actually comes from the horseradish root. So again, whether it's red or white, yeah, that's, that's where you're going to get that substance. Okay, and finally, cinnamon. cinnamon. Now, we're hearing a lot in the literature about this for helping stabilize blood sugar levels. You need about a teaspoon a day, helpful to reduce cholesterol, triglycerides, and for people with type 2 diabetes, very important to know, you do not want to stop your diabetes medication, but if you like things like rice pudding, oatmeal, cereal, yogurt, about a teaspoon of cinnamon a day can really help. So if, let's say, I wanted to maximize my health benefits yeah. from it, and I, let's say I don't drink cappuccino and I don't eat rice pudding, which I do love, of what course. if I just took, like, a spoonful of it? If you can handle if that, can that's handle a lot of cinnamon. People put it in there. You can put it on fruit. People put it in their cereal. Again, the things that are normally sweet, like oatmeal and rice pudding, are the big ones, but obviously you have to watch the calories in that. I know. Dr. <laughs> Jennifer Ashton, Sorry. thank you. <laughs> you bet, Jules. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.